Yeah, this stuff is, and what's underneath it, this is a mixture of sandstone and some kind of aggregate. And it's not, this is not from a sedimentary deposit. Okay? Absolutely not. I'm trying to find some here I can bust off, possibly. It's hard to do holding the camera, too. Yeah, I got some here on the ground, but you see these chunks in it too? Here's some that I broke off, and it, it, you can, you know, I can bust up in my hand. It's not hard at all. In fact, on a, the, there's a Mo scale, or a, what's that scale for hardness? I believe it'd only be about a, a two. But see, Geologists believe this is volcanism. I've looked at what this site's supposed to be here in Oregon. It's, they believe it's volcanism. It's not. See, I've showed this before, you know, that stuff stuck to the sides. So I'm going to go show you one, this, this cave over here that I believe is an artery. And it's a lot bigger than that cervix. And a cervix is uh, dependent on a cervix is 2.5 to 3.7 centimeters. Pulmonary arteries are that same size or bigger or whatever and then, then you got you know veins and you know um, aortas and stuff that are bigger so you see all that materials came off and look what's underneath it I've showed this before do you see what's underneath this this is sandstone oh stay I don't want to chase you down this is a type of sandstone okay and we also got some taffany right here, which is, they believe it's eons of erosion. It's not eons of erosion. This is actually decay, and eons of erosion remove it. They, 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 don't, they don't form it. They're wrong on that theory as well, and I've proven that over and over. They think, and I can see why they would think that. But this has the same thing. See these around these cells? These are some kind of a cell, just like the, uh, the bilipid membrane I brought to you. These are some kind of a cell, and the reason you can tell is because of this gooey part that allows it to move around on the outside of each one of them, okay? And then that material stuck to it, and they'd think that would be a sedimentary deposit, and that's not a sedimentary deposit at all. There are sedimentary deposits. There is volcanism on this earth, absolutely. You know, there, there are sedimentary deposits. There's, there's, there's some metamorphic rock. There's, you know, but not, you know, not all of it. Here's that cave. And along the top of this cave, not only do you have this, this cell structure going on, but if you take a look at the edge of these pieces, that these pop off. Do you see that? There's no way geology formed that like that, like that, down to a point like that, all the way, way around the lip of this thing. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> all right okay so we just looked at that over there which is right there that I believe is a cervix or white might be a cervix and then we're right here and you'd be able to put four or five of those in the entrance of this one that's being called a cervix and that's just not possible with size knowing that but this is not a human this is not a human that's why that's not a cervix oh All right, let's stand back and look at this. You see the material coming out here? It's a no-brainer. You can see stuff is flowing out. I'm standing on it. This is not magma. This is not a lava tube. Absolute, I've looked at a lot of lava tubes. You can go up and look at them yourself. Just Google lava tubes. So this material is really hard. Real hard. So I'm going to try to break some of it off here without getting my eyes gouged out. And then we'll take a look at that there. 
and we'll look at inside it because if this is a lava tube, it should be cake on the inside and chunks falling off and there's, there's nothing like that. Plus this rim, the way it's made, and plus underneath it is sandstone. That is sandstone. That tan looking stuff right there is sandstone. That's the, the same type of material that aggregate that I just showed you over there by the cervix I peeled off and crunched in my hand. That's the same type of material there. Okay, boy, this stuff is really, really hard. I mean, really hard. That's what I broke off. And I'm gonna take that home and look under a magnifying, we're gonna take this with us and we'll be able to look under a magnifying glass. This is absolutely not lava, really heavy. Lava is not heavy and the reason it's a lot heavy because it's really porous and burned out. It's more ceramic. In fact, when you bang lava together, it sounds like crystally ceramic banging together this is not lava way too dense way too heavy okay and it's not intrusive basalt this is this is blood this is blood flowing out of here and i believe since it's so black and everything and not pink underneath it i believe this is vein okay now i'm up close to the rim see them chunks i told you form around it and right there see the tan that's sandstone i can show you some right here this is sandstone there's no way a lava tube is going to be this sandstone, okay? No way. No way. And it's different material than this. So let's look inside here. Okay? Luckily I brought a light today. So let's take a gander, eh? All right. See these sides? This is not, this is not lava. This is no way it does lava do this. There's no caking. There's no layering. There's nothing that looks like a lava tube. And this goes back in a quite a ways. I've got a light on, so we'll be able to see. I'm laying on my back. You see that? You see that? That is absolutely not lava this is no layering whatsoever absolutely not absolutely 100 percent not now i can stand up right here this is not lava there's no layering no there's been no purging going on in here like you'd have in a lava tube okay Absolutely not. This is some of that sandstone. Lava is not sandstone. It is not silicon dioxide. Silicon, I mean, this, okay. It was a sandstone tube that flowed out sandstone. Yeah, okay. This is sandstone. All this right through here is sandstone. A really coarser sandstone, but still silicon dioxide with some aggregate in it. Okay. Now, as we get closer to the rim, we get this stuff here. And it, hold on, I believe it's like the stuff on the ground down below us down here. This should look, this looks like it's probably really hard. 
No, it's that. It's like that stuff I crashed, crashed, crushed in my hand over at the other tube or other cave. So that's what we got going on here with this one. Now we're going to backtrack to all the other ones. Okay. That's a workout. Getting too old to be bending over like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting any younger. It's okay. I'll be going home to be with the Lord pretty soon, and I can't wait. If the thief went on the cross went to paradise that day, boy, am I ready to go to paradise. Better than this earth right now. What do you think, huh? All right. So let's go take a look at that above it and see what kind of material it is. Can I can tell you right now, it's a sandstone. You can see it. You can, you, can, you can smell it. You can smell it. No, I'm just joking. Yeah, I'm a real funny feller. All right, let's get on up here. Ah! Kind of hard to do this with a hammer in one hand. Now, see what we run into immediately? We were just in that stuff. Now, look at this stuff. Look at this type change. See this? This is sandstone. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> There's no way a lava tube is going to be made out of sandstone, folks. Okay? Impossible. Here's that membrane stuff I'm showing you, I was showing you before. And here's taffany, which is actually being eroded off. Now, here's where we get into the sandstone big time. Look at this. Totally different type change. Immediately. See this? And this is some kind of an emphasis of some kind of tin material right here. It goes out just like that. And no, this is not a volcanic intrusion. This is not a feeder dike. Nothing like that. I understand geological theory very, very, very well. And that's exactly what it is. Theory! See this? They'd think that was a volcanic intrusion. Yeah! And it's not. Some kind of membrane. That's what that is. These vol always, these volcanic intrusions, well, I shouldn't say always, there are volcanic intrusions, but they look nothing like this. Nothing like this. And again, sandstone, sandstone, sandstone. Some kind of an aggregate on the top. See this? And there's that edge. It's always on them like I've shown before in all my videos that are identical. All these, no matter where I go, are identical. There's no way that would happen geologically in volcanism, okay? Absolutely not. That's the edge of it. And see how this stuff butts right up hard, tight against it? How'd that get on this side from that side? Or how did this come right up through the sandstone? Well, there was a crack there, and it came up through it. Oh, what a... Yeah. And I'm Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho! Look at this down through here. See that? And it's in sandstone. Look at the edges of it. It's always this. It always has that crackly part on the edge. Because this is a membrane, and they're all designed the same. Some are bigger, some are smaller. And this is all sandstone. This is all sandstone. I don't want to get too close. I don't want to slide off into there if I slip and fall. A while back, I seen some orcas in here, and I don't want to get eaten by an orca. They make me nervous. This is that membrane. Another one. So you got that one there in this sandstone, and you got this massive one here. This is that one. From over there that I told you I'll walk on if I can and not fall off. This is a membrane. Look at that. This is some kind of a membrane 
like grisly part also that's connecting something to something I don't know if it was on top or below us or whatever and then you got sandstone on both sides of it are you kidding me now look at this this is really cool it kind of gets circular here all right let's go look at some of the other caves oh. 